Hi there and welcome to the Yamaha XV1900 Midnight Star for sale. Uh, cracking machine in very good condition. Uh, it's done 23,700 miles, top of my head. Uh, and on the mileage, it's looking in great condition. You'll see from one of the photos that it comes with lots and lots of kit on it. Uh, screen, sissy bar, uh, the driver backrest and the panniers. Um, taking it all off, stripped it all back, uh, all that gear comes with it, um, but this is the sort of stripped down look that you can get just by taking those bits and pieces off. I've put some bolts into the, the top of the mud guard to you know, cover up the holes, but you could easily get um, some bungs as well if you wanted to get that a little bit lower down, but I think it looks all right with those stainless bolts in it. Uh, the paint's in good order back here. There are a couple of tiny little blemishes I mean that hasn't gone through the paint whether it's glue and um, and crack or just little marks I'm not sure but it, it's still in good order the belt's fantastic uh, the back wheel I have to be honest is still a bit grimy actually um, truth be told I just can't face it um, I did the front wheel today so you'll see how well that can come up with a bit of love um, rear tires in great condition um, Nigh on new, and we haven't got much in the way of um, corrosion on the bike. It's still in good order, it's obviously been garaged and well looked after. Come round the front. Oh, she's a big, heavy girl, I tell you. And yeah, have a look at the wheel that I tidied today. So you can see the difference. They will clean up, it's just a bloody lot of work. Um, I've had a little go at these and to be honest I think it could be better these little covers here uh, the chrome that's on them um, is peeled off due to the heat or just crap chrome I guess so I've just literally touched those in to stop any um, powdering on the aluminium underneath um, so yeah not perfect could be a better job but um, there we are perhaps it's the one for the next owner look at the motor Everything's nice and bright. And again, very little in the way of corrosion anywhere. Leading edge of the mud guard, all good. Let's see, again, I've had to touch that side in. That probably gives you an idea of what's happened there. Just, you can see the chrome and then you can see the bit that I've touched up. Again, the wheel's nice and bright at the front. So there isn't any damage to the bike at all. You know, it hasn't been dropped or anything. Um, the baffles have been removed from the exhaust. So it sounds a bit fruitier than standard, but it's not uh, anywhere near ridiculous. What you do find with these big bikes is you get a bit of backfire, uh, a little bit of farting and fluffing as they go along and you shut down the throttle, which um, I think is part of their character really. But um, yeah, if you want it quieter, you need to invest in the standard pipe, complete with baffles. Got a, uh, a bung missing here, but I've ordered it actually, so it will look like that by the time it is collected. Uh, heated grips present, haven't investigated it, but not working. There's the dial for it there, which I tucked away. It used to sit up here actually on this, um, and you can see the last of this plastery stuff. It's awful, I'll have another go at that in a minute, the hair dryer, and see if I can clear that off properly. But it looked ridiculous there, so I tucked it to one side. So here we are, 23,789 miles. Wow. 
wow, five minutes, longest video I've done, I think. Um, so there you are, good walk round. Um, give me a shout if you're interested in coming and have a look at the bike and uh, take it from there. Bye for now.